friends, it's me, your favorite messy hair YouTuber. Back at it for another video. So today's video is very exciting. For almost 20 years, I've been wanting to go to Japan. And I finally did it. Your girl booked the tickets. And I'm finally gonna go. So this is very exciting for me. There's so much I wanna do. In today's video, we're gonna be checking out some stuff that they only have in Japan. Part two. You know, in America, so many people have gotten Japanese tattoos. Like, oh, it says this. But it actually means this. You know, I think Ariana Grande did that too. So even in Japan, they got wild translations that don't make any sense. Like the sign. You are my angle. Don't treat me like potato. You talk like angle. Walk like model. But your body look like buffalo. <laughs> Are these supposed to be like cards for your lover? You strong like Rambo. Look like hero. But your brain just like potato. <laughs> Actually makes perfect sense. Like if this makes perfect sense to you. Stay woke. Okay, so I made a whole video on vending machines around the world, but Japan has got most of them. They got a lot of really crazy vending machines. Like you could get anything. 24 hours, seven days a week. You could get chicken nuggets, you could get french fries, you could get a hamburger. You can get any drink imaginable. Oh, but do they have a Starbucks vending machine? That's a really good idea. What? A vending machine with a car? How does that even work? Don't you have to fill out like hella paperwork? You need license, registration, insurance. Like you need a lot of stuff to buy a car. But no, in Japan it's just like credit card in, out. What, it just dispenses the keys? Like here you go, complete stranger. I don't know, I don't care where you got your money from. But here's a car, totally like undocumented. Or maybe it's like your responsibility to like fill out like registration and do your license and stuff. You know, the good old trust system that we don't have in America anymore because of folks like Ted Bundy. You know, I was watching that movie and people back then in like the 70s, 80s were so trusting. Like, cop pulls you over. You ran two red lights. And you'd be like, oh no sir, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. I was just lost. 2019, they would be like, did you not stop completely at a stop sign? You could have killed someone. License? Suspended. You're gonna have to go to court, pay $500. Like, this is no joke. You do an 85 and a 65, you're going to jail. Well, you see here in America, we got green traffic lights. I think most places have green traffic lights. But in Japan, they're blue. But why are they blue? I mean, it works. Is it weird? Yes. And it's even weirder because it's like, all traffic lights are the same color green. And it's like, when you see one that's like slightly off, you're like, you violated the law. Oh my God, even the traffic cones are freaking cute. Pink, bad. Bears. Is this really necessary? Yes. You know, people here, they won't stop for anything. They'll see the traffic cones and be like, oh, that's cute. Okay, you know what? I'll be cautious. I'll stop. I'll do whatever you want me to do. Okay, food. Food is another thing. And it's hard for me because I have celiac, so I have to eat gluten-free, which is gonna be really hard. Because I can't eat a lot of the food in Japan, which sucks. But I have friends that aren't allergic to gluten that can try it for me and explain with great detail how it tastes. Like, we got heart-shaped Doritos. Even the Doritos are cute. Like triangles. Hell nah, that ain't cute. I guess they thought Doritos were too obtuse. And so they made heart-shaped Doritos. And it looked like they're like white cheddar flavor. I'm okay with it. Comment below, would you try these? This is what blows my mind the most. I don't even really drink soda, but they have a Sakura flavored Pepsi. It is pink. They have freaking pink Pepsi. And that is not all. They have so many flavors of Pepsi. It's like a whole alternate universe of flavors that you've never even heard of in America. Pepsi, Caribbean gold flavor. What? Excuse me? Caribbean gold? What does that even taste like? Caribbean gold kind of sounds like pirate piss. White sapote flavor. <gasps> it's a fruit. White sapote is a fruit. I repeat, it is a fruit. But what does it taste like? Is it like mame? I have had this. I had a mame raspado. If you know, you know. We got Banana Fanta. That's just right up my alley. I love me some banana flavored anything. And it's white. No offense, but I don't 
like dark colored sodas. I only like it when it's this color. It has to be like white, clear, pink. Pink is okay too. I mean, purple is fine. I don't like it when it's like bright orange. <coughs> Orange Fanta. I'm sorry to disappoint you, but it's just not for me. But like Fresca, mm, Fresca is best soda ever made. Don't at me. We got another gold one, a uh, Mountain Dew Pepsi. There's a snowman flavor. What does it taste like? I need to know these things. You know what? When I go to Japan, I will personally go on a mission to obtain all of these limited edition flavors for you guys, and I will try them. I will let you know in detail what every molecule of my taste buds are experiencing. As well as I can, but also me. Mm, yeah, that tastes good. Oh my god This is blowing my mind right now because there are so many flavors of Kit Kat It's like Pepsi and Kit Kat. These are the two sacred chosen foods of this land We must make them in every single flavor possible Wasabi I thought that was green tea You know people here when they finally got their hands on green tea Kit Kat. It was wild, but wasabi spicy Kit Kat what? Cheesecake one sounds hella good though. I am mm, anything cheesecake delicious. It's a shame I can't have Kit Kat though. We got an apple flavor. We got a strawberry flavor. That's just dandy. Taro flavor. A wine and cheese flavor. What the hell? A citrus flavor. Citrus chocolate. Pineapple. Bro, y'all need to calm down. That's enough. You could only pick one. Which Kit Kat flavor are you trying? So a lot of the fast food restaurants have a lot of special food items on the menu that you can only get in Japan. McDonald's has a Halloween choco potato. You told me that's chocolate sauce? What's the orange? Cheese? Come on, y'all gotta pick one. I don't think I've ever had chocolate on fries. And honestly, it doesn't sound really good. Oh, uh, you know what? I've had like chocolate covered potato chips, which were, it's one of those things that make me sick just like thinking about it. Like my tummy is not gonna enjoy this. Comment below, would you try this? Oh, I know they had this for Halloween here but like McDonald's and Burger King do a black burger which looks absolutely disgusting putrid it just looks like a nasty patty and ain't nobody wanted a nasty patty how you gonna look at that and be like mmm delicious finally some good effing food no you know if it's black it could be moldy and you just like wouldn't know I can't show this but this is a real thing they have an eggplant emoji festival yes all hail the great Eggplant King. Nice. By the way, they are actually holding up a ginormous statue of an eggplant emoji in real life. Nice. You know, in America, we do like makeup and wigs and cosplay. Some cosplayers take it to the next level. Literally a whole nother face. I'm not just cosplaying Sakura. I will literally become her. Well, that freaking mask. How do they even see? I want to know what these masks look like up close. Because like from far away, they kind of pass. I mean, it looks weird. Like you see an anime character in real life and you'd be like wait No, I didn't want it like this like the idea is cool And then you finally see them in real life like walking around you walk into a bus full of waifus I don't know some people might be into it. I would be creeped out Ain't nobody got a face like that in real life and I can guarantee some of those are probably guys another thing I really wanted to go to it sucks because they don't have the Kingdom Hearts one anymore I wish I wanted to go to so bad is an anime cafe so an anime cafe is is like a pop-up restaurant with food, drinks, merch, decor, everything that has to do with the anime. So I know there's a Pokemon one right now because Detective Pikachu just came out and they serve very cute Pokemon food. So you got Pikachu coming out of the dirt. Oh my god, look at the parfait! It's so stinking cute. You got Pikachu burger and Pikachu after he had Taco Bell. Oh my god, all the food looks so cute. How many freaking yellow foods are there that you can make Pikachu's face out of? Is it just Pikachu that gets all the recognition? This was my dream. It was my dream. I would have literally died if I knew this existed when I was a kid. So I used to love Pokemon. I don't know what happened when I grew up. I know people like grew up and they still loved Pokemon, but I grew up and I was just like, eh, I'm more of an Attack on Titan kind of girl now. Don't talk to me unless you're caught up with a manga or I'll spoil it. Mm. Oh, another thing I have to try is the Pod Hotel. Yes, 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 yes. I will feel like I'm suffocating. I don't know. I've been having weird anxiety about stuff like this. I don't know what it is. How long do you think you could go in here before like going crazy? I think what would drive me insane is I can't act 
actually like sit up in the pot. Like all you can do is lay down in it. And it's like I would shift around so much. I would be like just like turning and twisting and like trying to get comfortable but knowing I'm like literally in a box and somebody is two feet away from me. Knowing that there's so many people laying all around me and I'm just like here in this box. Oh my god. I, it's, it's like getting hard to breathe. I'm not claustrophobic or anything but like I don't know. It's just like thinking about it. I'm like hyperventilating. I'm like <laughs> Help me already. So I thought this was some clickbait thing, but it's actually legit. They have different shaped keyboards in Japan. It's not this. This don't fly. So you have round keyboards and there are a lot of variations. You have this kind of keyboard where it's like two pieces. You got one hand on each, which makes sense. Maybe they thought that was a better way to learn how to type. Maybe they're trying to be edgy. I don't know, but I don't like it. Do you have anxiety? Do you like to pop things. They got a keychain that you can pop and it's supposed to simulate bubble wrap. So whenever you sit in traffic or you in a pod hotel and you feel like you can't breathe, you just pull this bad boy out. Oh man, after you pop all those bad boys, you'll feel good for like two seconds and then anxiety intensifies all over again. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, let me know what things I should check out when I go to Japan. And if you guys enjoyed and learned something new, make sure you hit that like button in the face and subscribe to the wolf pack oh i love you guys so much thanks for watching bye guys